Hello children good morning today we are going to discuss about a lesson a wrong man in workers paradise grade 10 english have you heard about paradise yes paradise is nothing but a heaven where all the people are having all the facilities and they are busy in doing their own work here in this lesson we are going to see that a man was by, by mistake has sent or allowed in the heaven who was not eligible or who was not suitable for that place and how did he got work how that means how did he suit in that place is little bit interesting and this is called a pitcher this uses to carry water to fill water have you seen gardens if yes there are many trees like flowers coconut trees fruits trees and roses also why they have roses yes so it is the need because in a garden we need to have the fragrance the beauty which attracts the people the man had never believed in mere utility the man this lesson is written by rabindranath tagore and this is the lesson written by rabindranath tagore about a man who is not hard worker but he was by mistake allowed into the workers paradise a wrong man in workers paradise the paradise is of workers and a wrong man means the person who is not hard worker having had no useful work he indulged in mad whims he made little pieces of sculpture men women and castles so he was doing the pictures of men women castles means it's a type of buildings like church shapes quaint earthen means mud with looking odd pictures the things dotted over with sea shells so he was uh, uh, painting and he was sculptures he was uh, sculpturing on the shells sea shells he painted them and thus he wasted his time on all that was useless needless people laughed at him at times he vowed to shake off his whims but they lingered in his mind so he wanted to careless and he was not doing the paintings with purpose some boys example some boys without reading they pass out the exam on the last day they won't prepare for for the preparation but however they pass in the exam so same this man was also allowed into the workers paradise some boys seldom ply their books the word seldom ply means without reading only last moment they get the pass some boys seldom ply their books and yet pass their tests a similar thing had happened to this man he spent his earth life in useless work and yet after his death so he has spent his life earth, uh, earth. a similar thing had happened to this man he spent his earth life in useless work and yet after his death the gates of heaven opened wide for him even he was doing useless work he was allowed in the workers paradise but the moving finger writes even in heaven that means it was his fate avan punnyadu so it came to pass but the aerial messenger who took charge of the man made a mistake so made a mistake and found him a place in workers paradise so when we say when somebody was allowed into the school by a mistake the different school student has been entered into that school by mistake so same the aerial messenger means like a man 
mentioned to allow the people inside the heaven but by mistake of uh, aerial messenger the wrong man was allowed into the workers paradise in this paradise you find everything except leisure here men say god we haven't a moment to spare women whisper let's move on time's flying all exclaim time is precious we have our hands full we make use of every single minute they sigh complainingly that means they complain we don't have time why to waste the time let us move on and yet those words make them happy and exalted so they were they are the words are very powerful exalted means the words are powerful but this newcomer who had passed all his life on earth without doing a scrap of useful work here the person was not doing a scrap of useful work did not fit in the in with the scheme of things in workers paradise he launched in the streets absently and jostled the hurrying man so he launched he lived in the streets absently that means he was not doing any work and he was not present that means he was not worried of doing work he was absently sitting there and jostled the hurried man he was forcing he was pushing with the he was moving with the pushing people he lay down in the green meadows he was laying down whole day or close to the fast flowing streams near by the streams and was taken to task by busy farmers he was always in the way of others just he was watching others but he was not doing anything a bustling girl went every day to silent torrent silent since the workers paradise even a torrent wouldn't waste its energy singing to fill his her uh, pictures even the stream was not making any sound it was moving slow it was moving fast but no sound halla hariyodu nadi hariyodu the water makes a sound when it moves but here it was not making any sound the girl's movement on the road was like the rapid movement of a skilled hand on the strings of a guitar the girl was moving very fast like if you stop the guitar the strings of the guitar it doesn't make the sound so same she was mo- moving very fast her hair was carelessly done her hair was carelessly done means she was not worried about her hairstyles he was just she was just tied her hair inquisit wisps peep often over her forehead to peer at the dark wonder of the eye so sometimes the hair were falling on her head forehead the idler was sitting by the stream who is idler the wrong man as a princess sees a lonely beggar and is filled with pity so the busy girl of the heaven saw this one and was filled with pity she said ah she cried with concern you have no work in hand have you the man said work i have not a moment to spare for work he told i don't have work time to spare for work the girl did not understand his words and said i shall spare some work for you to do if you like the man replied girl of the silent torrent all this time i have been waiting to take some work from your hands what kind of work would you like will you give then he said will you give me one of your pictures one that you can spare if you have extra picture that means extra mud pot if you have you give me i will picture on it i'll i will sculpture on it he said she said a picture you want to draw water from the torrent no i shall draw pictures on a on your picture he told no i don't want to carry the water i don't want to fill the water just i want to sculpture it the girl was annoyed she was worried pictures indeed i have no time to waste on you as such i am going and she walked away but how could a busy person get the better one who had nothing to do every day the met and every day he said her girl of the tour her girl of the silent torrent give me one of your clay pictures i shall draw pictures on it so he was uh, every day he was saying to 
the lay the girl that give me your picture pictures i will draw the pictures on it she yielded at last at last she said okay she gave him one of the picture the man started painting he drew line after line he put color after color when he had completed his work the girl held up the picture and stared at its at its sides her eyes puzzled so she was in a confusion what does this painting mean here here we can see the girl was worried about the picture she was turning again and again and she was looking at it brows drawn she asked what do they mean all these lines and colors what is their purpose the man laughed nothing a picture may have no no meaning and say a sir no purpose so in our life there are some things we they don't have any purpose but we like to do it like painting drawing singing we do it to enjoy something every thing doesn't have a meaning so same he was also the girl went away with her picture at home away from prying eyes she held it in the light turned it round and round and scanned painting from all angles so she turned the picture again and again and she was thinking what does this line mean because she was very much worried this much uh, she was very careful of her work without any purpose she wasn't doing any work here the word they use scanned scanned means to look again and again carefully to learn to understand something at night she moved out of bed lighted a lamp and scanned it again in silence for the first time in her life she hadn't she had seen something that had no meaning and no purpose at all so this was the first time in her life saw something which is no meaning and no purpose the painting when she set out for the torrent the next day her hurrying feet were a little less hurried than before so when she was moving to the torrent to carry water to draw water she saw, she was in a thinking that what does this line mean so it never happened in her life she was moving very fast to bring water but the, uh, today she was very much slow for a new sense seemed to have awakened her a sense that seemed to have no meaning and no purpose at all so she thought it was mean, no meaning and no purpose she saw the painter standing by the torrent and asked in confusion what do you want of me only some work from your hands he said only i want some work from your hands what kind of work would you like let me make a colored ribbon for your hair he answered and what for why you need that ribbon nothing ribbons were made bright with colors the busy girl of worker paradise had now to spend a lot of time every day tying the color ribbon around her hair so these days these previous days she was not tying her hair and she was carelessly done but when he gave the ribbons she was wasting her time in tying her hair the minutes slipped by unutilized the word of utilized is opposite word is unutilized much work was left unfinished finished unfinished in workers paradise work had of late begun to suffer many persons who had been active before were now idle because of her when she stopped working that means she was busy in tying her hair and looking at the picture the works the further works were stopped so even others also became wasting their time many persons who had been active before were now idle wasting their precious time on useless things such as painting and sculpture the elders become anxious a meeting was called they called a meeting all agreed that such a state of affairs had so far been unknown in the history of the workers paradise so these many days it didn't happen that no one was sitting idle but now she was the aerial messenger hurried in he came very quick hurried 
bowed before the elders and made a confession confession to say his mistake what he did i brought a wrong man into this paradise he said it is all because of him the man was summoned as he came the elders saw his fantastic dress his quaint brushes his paints and they knew at once that he was not the right sort of workers paradise stiffly the president said there is no place for the like of you you must leave the man sighed in relief and gathered up his brush and paints so the president stood up and told this is no place for the like of people of like you you must leave from here the man sighed that means the wrong man woke up and he told uh, he took his brushes and paints but as he was about to go when he was about to go the girl of the silent torrent came up tripping and cried wait a moment she told wait a moment i shall come with you the elders gasped in surprise they told what do you want to go with him they never before had a thing like this happened in workers paradise a thing that had no meaning and no purpose at all so we also think something is no meaning and no purpose but everything has a meaning and purpose but the eyes we need in this from the less from this lesson we come to know that everything has something when we do we feel it's meaningless and it has no purpose but everything has a meaning which makes us happy so let us end up the lesson and we will discuss the question answers in the next class thank you for watching if you like the lesson please watch share like and then subscribe thank you for watching please children